Just morning guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today is Friday, it's super sunny outside and I thought I would film my day again. I popped to Ikea the other day and picked up some more jars for food storage and some little bits and bobs so I thought I would show you what I get up to today because I'm going to be trying to organise the kitchen a little bit more. Um, and then I also have some sewing to do, so I thought I'd show you what I'm starting to work on next. Um, I'm making some quilted cushion covers with some little ruffles. Um, so let's head on down to the kitchen and get started. It's also very warm up here and hopefully it's not quite as warm downstairs. <laughs> I'm wearing one of my new blouses that is on my website at the moment. So if you're interested in where this is from, it is handmade by me. It's very cute and summery. I love the long cuffs and they're made in this vintage Laura Ashley fabric. So if you're interested in those I will leave the link down below for them. You could also tuck them in if you wanted to and have them a bit more relaxed like that. Oh darling girl. Oh hello. Are you a bit sleepy? I gave you a bath last night so you've gone all fluffy. Picked up this house plant in Ikea. We have one like this at home and it's just lasted forever. And I just love how simple a nice fern can look, you know? And they've got these gorgeous leaves that come up and create shape. So I picked that up. The pot is from H&M Home and yeah, I just love it. Touch wood, Flory's not been too much of a monkey with the soil. <laughs> Hi darling. You having fun? You coming? Come on there's nothing like your first. I went a little crazy on the jars in Ikea the other day. So my mum has a lot of these jars at home and I just love how airtight they are. And they're so cheap, I think these big ones are like £2.50 or something, which is bargainous. And then I also picked up a load of these glass containers to put food in, to put in the fridge or the freezer. I particularly loved these little round ones that came with the glass lid. But the glass lid can't go in the freezer, so I picked up the other lid that can do if we need to put them in the freezer for any reason, um, or if we want to take it as like a pet lunch or something. I wouldn't trust this lid as much as this one. <laughs> if you're also a Virgo, hopefully you will enjoy this video. <laughs> so this bit of the kitchen is a mess right now, and I want to sort it out basically. Um, I want to try and put this in a cupboard or like the snacks in a cupboard and um, these are the jars we already have and I put little labels on them and then I don't, I'm just going to take everything down from here because I'm going to probably put most of the stuff on the shelves. I bought this big basket from Zara home a while ago and it's handy for storing bits that you don't want to use all the time. So I'm going to put my nice enamelware in there. I got this little vintage butter dish on eBay the other day. I also bought two more of these mats from Ikea the other day. Just nice heat proof, heat resistant mats. Oh Flora, you want to go outside again? Right. Red lentils, they can go. And the smaller ones. I kind of wish I'd picked up more of the slightly smaller ones now. Um, they don't need to be huge. Most of these things. Oh, it's so annoying when there's like a tiny bit left. I love using walnuts in baking, and we also really love using walnuts for making pesto. Now I'm going to put a big one of chana dal, so I love chana dal. And then I'm going 
going to do another big one of jasmine rice. They've all got their labels on them now. And I'm going to see if there's anything else I could put in the big ones for now. I'm going to use this as our snack basket so that I can have this out with something else in it. Putting the snack basket there. Now I've got my basket free again put other bits in. This corner is starting to look a whole lot better. I just have a few more things I want to clear off the sides. I've had some lunch and I've got into very comfy clothes and I am going to have a full-on afternoon of sewing. Um, you can probably see behind me a very large ruffled cushion. <laughs> that is basically what I'm going to be making today except a slightly different version of that cushion. I love how this cushion turned out. I think it's so cute. I tried a new quilt block that I haven't made before and I love how it's turned out. And the back has these little ties that hold the cushion nicely together. And I just love it so much. So yesterday I started a new design, um, which looks like this so far. I can't remember the name of this quilt block but I'm using this fabric as my main fabric that's going to be the rest of the pillow. I'm going between calling them cushions and pillows and I know that's probably really annoying. <laughs> so I actually made a few of these ones and I'm about to sew the last block. So set up over here I have the block ready to piece together and I also I'm going to try out something different. <laughs> so, that's the first thing I'm going to sew. When the roads are As you did not take Or will you find the truth that we made? Who'd have thought this amount of fabric would take so long to cut out? <laughs> but I've got a very satisfying wedge of freshly ironed squares to make my next block out of and this block is called cats and mice and it looks like this that's what it looks like and this is the website I got the pattern off it's actually a really good website for following block pattern block patterns <laughs> okay so the first thing you have to do is half a square and a square so, I've got these little squares which are just over half of the big square and all you do is sew along the diagonal here. And then you've got one half of the triangle so then you go and trim that bit off and then you'll sew another one on the same way and then when you fold that one back you will have the two triangles. That's the first piece I'm going to go and make and I need to do four of those. So now I've finished all of those and I've done them in the other colourway. So now we can do the next step which is to create a square in a square like that. 
And to do that, we need the darker shade that we're using. And then using the little squares again, it's very similar, except this time you go all the way around. All this goes, but I do know it. And there we go, there you have your square in a square. But I'm going to make the other ones of those, and then we'll do the next step. Okay, this is the last step. So it's actually very easy, this block. Um, we now use the four medium shades and then do exactly the same thing with the little squares in the corner and sewing the triangles and folding them out. I'm gonna go and do that. I won't time lapse it because you've just seen me doing all of this. I do really love quilting. It does take a long time, so you can understand why handmade quilted items cost so much. If you guys would want me to do a video on like the basics you'd need for quilting because it is very different to dressmaking then let me know because um, I'd love to film that. Chloe's being very good. Oh, Are you in a pile of fabric darling? Yes. Yeah. So this is what all the pieces look like laid out together and now I'm going to do the same thing and join them all up. I'm back home and I'm just parceling up a package for someone that ordered a bag. She ordered one of these, which I have two left of now. They're very, very sweet. Um, so I'm just sending this off for her now. I had a weekend at home and I went to my grandma's because it was her birthday on Friday. And I went for a little swim this morning at Soho Farmhouse and I really need to sort my membership out because I don't really need it at the moment because I'm too far away now. Um, so, what am I doing? Right, I'm sorting out a shipping label. Label? 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 I find whenever I do exercise I'm just so exhausted afterwards that it almost seems silly to do exercise because I'm gonna just feel so rubbish and tired. So yeah, I don't know if anyone else gets that when they exercise. Probably just means I need to do more exercise. There we go, one bag ready to go. And I'm gonna go and have some lunch and then go off and post that. This vlog is now probably completely all over the place, um, which let's be honest, when isn't one of my vlogs all over the place. So I think the last thing I filmed was parceling up an order. And the day before that, I'd been to the flea fair in Malvern and seeing my grandma over the weekend, which was so lovely. And um, I thought I'd show you a few bits I picked up from the flea fair. I didn't get too much this time. And I actually found a few clothing items, which I wouldn't usually find at a flea fair. Well, I don't usually look for them, to be honest. Okay, here we go. I have to be quick, because I can hear my boyfriend's just got home. Yes, Laurie, who's that? 
Flory gets beyond excited when Lewis gets home and it's very cute. First item of fashion I picked up is a handmade 1970s dress. I'm not sure if it was made in the 1970s but it is very much handmade and it looks like it's almost been completely hand stitched everywhere and it's in the most beautiful light cotton with this gorgeous blue and green floral print just stunning and it fits so well I'll try this one on in a second I probably won't try the other dress on and this is the other dress which I've tried on already um, I just need to figure out if I'm going to dye it or not because it is very close to my skin colour um, so it could look like I'm a little bit naked. <laughs> so it's an old ghost dress so it's not exactly vintage but I just thought it was such a lovely shape and it's kind of just sort of just below the knee sort of length, a bit longer. Um, so yeah it's going to look really smart if I need to go to like a nice little event. And then the last bit of sort of textiles I picked up from the Flea Fair is a pair of napkins, well a set of napkins and tablecloth and I don't know if the light's really gonna pick it up very well but it's a nice creamy pink and then the lady convinced me to buy the tablecloth with it but I'm not 100% sure if I love the tablecloth quite as much because it's quite lacy. There we go, here is the 1970s style dress. I just love it and it is honestly like the most perfect fit. I'll put a little side clip in so you can see what it looks like full length. So there we go, those are the bits I picked up at the flea fair. I also got a nice old white bucket to put some flowers in. I think that's it. Um, anyway, I thought I'd share the progress of my quilted cushion covers. So I bought inserts for 35 by 35 centimetre cushions and how cute are these? I'm not sure about the ruffle size, I kind of love the oversizedness of the ruffle but I think I might make it a little bit smaller for some more that I might make. And I finished it in another colourway which I think is super sweet. And yeah, I've just been working on those whilst um, doing other bits and bobs and I'm probably going to carry on working on them next week and then take some photos, get them up on the website so if you're interested in them then make sure you're following my design account because that's where I will post about them. Um, I had quite a stressful day today because we had a plumber over and he was only meant to fix one little problem and then another problem occurred and he was here from about half nine till three so yes and I had lots of filming planned for today and I just could not do it because he was here. I had a good day of sewing though so at least I got something done. Yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video I hope you all have a lovely weekend or day whatever day it is <laughs> and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!